This is Katrina from the National University of Singapore. She's here on a research mission to look for frogs. The frogs are incredibly well camouflaged, thus making them nearly impossible to see. However, while she can't see them, she can still hear them. She listens for their unique calls and tries to identify them. Katrina records and analyzes these calls in a practice called bioacoustic monitoring. This process involves recording the frog calls at various locations in the forest, and then later analyzing them to identify which frogs are present, and what types of relationships they may have to the rest of their environment. The system she uses is modular, so the components can be replaced when needed. In the box, a Raspberry Pi is connected to some environmental sensors. A battery powers the Raspberry Pi and needs to be changed once per week. The box collects acoustic data for one minute out of every 10. When she gets the acoustic files back to the lab, she's able to identify the species that are calling by using a classification algorithm. This algorithm is similar to voice recognition for humans that we have in our phones. These jungles, however, hold many unforeseen challenges for both technology and researchers. Okay. It's broken! Maybe a monkey attacked it, or a squirrel. Rodents like squirrels are very curious and like to chew on things and take them away. Ants and termites can get through the tiniest of cracks and fry her entire system. Katrina is exploring several new ideas and techniques to better monitor different species. Future additions such as solar panels and wireless mesh networking will allow her devices greater autonomy. She hopes to discover and map out all the invisible frog species that live in these jungles. Katrina's homemade, constantly evolving devices are a key step in better understanding the vast hidden networks underlying our natural world. <laughs> <laughs>